with Emily Nielsen had 16 points on the night, beating Mary Grove. Um, first, with homecoming and being the first wet, wet game, how does that like give you a little boost into the conference? Um, it was really nice. It being homecoming, we had a lot more people out there supporting us, and I think overall the attitude and the vibe was a little happier for everyone. So I think even our coach was a little relaxed, so that was really nice. We got to play under a nice crowd. All right, great. And you guys turn around and play Tuesday against Cornerstone home again. Yes. Um, with a quick turnaround, how do you guys prepare for that? Well, normally we don't have practice on Sunday, but Coach is going to have us practice tomorrow. We'll probably go pretty hard, and then we'll probably relax a little on Monday. But um, it is nice going into the game being 1-0 and in conference so far. All right. Well, congratulations on your win, and good Thank luck you. Tuesday. Thank you. At halftime of the women's basketball game, the women's alumni was honored. After the women's game, the men's team took on Mary Grove as well, leading the way for the Panthers with Javante Ford with 17 points. Dominus Burnett, Gabe Vanderjag, Jamin Davis, and Kyle Statham each added 10 points apiece. The Panthers are now 5-1 overall and 1-0 and in conference. They take on Cornerstone next Tuesday at 7.30 p.m. in the Student Center for another WAC clash. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.